In a Perfect World by Trish Dollar, you could argue that 17-year-old Caroline has a perfect world. She is heading into the summer before her senior year. She's going to be the soccer captain at her high school next fall. Uh, this summer, she's going to spend working at Cedar Point, which is the roller coaster capital of the world in Ohio, an actual amusement park. If you've never been there, check it out. She's going to spend time with her best friend and her boyfriend heading into her senior year. But all of that gets turned upside down uh, when her mom, who is an eye surgeon, finds out that she has been tapped to open an eye clinic in Cairo, Egypt. So imagine if you're Caroline at this point. You're going to spend your summer before your senior year and your entire senior year in a country halfway around the world that maybe, can you find Cairo on a map? Do you know what language they speak? It, it, not necessarily Caroline. When she gets there, uh, her mom has set her up with a driver who is going to act as an interpreter and sort of drive her around, act as a security guard while she's in Cairo, show her some of the historical sites. But early on, her driver, uh, who is a middle-aged man, has a heart attack and can't drive her around. Her son, his son, uh, Adam is his name, steps in and says, well, I'll help out. Uh, Adam is also a, a young man who wants to be a chef. He's, he's a good cook. He's got another job. But to help out, he knows his family needs the income. Uh, he decides he's going to take Caroline around uh, and help out his dad. It doesn't hurt in Caroline's view that Adam is a fine looking young man. Now, Trish Dollar has set this up in this way that Caroline is Catholic, Adam is Islam. So both young people kind of respect their religion and keep those boundaries uh, that both of their religions anticipate that somebody should. I appreciated that. What Adam does though is he and Caroline both have a lot of fun going around Cairo he introduces her to places, historic places, uh, bazaars, uh, foods that she probably not would not have experienced with Adam's dad. They, of course, become friends and there is a romantic attraction there. So it is a romantic comedy uh, wrapped around a tour guide. You learn some history. I really, really enjoyed this book. I think you as, will as well. If you do, if you like that kind of a book, there's also some other suggestions I will put down. Uh, below the video links uh, of some other books that are similar where you learn a little bit about the history and it's wrapped around a great story. Check out In a Perfect World by Trish Dollar.